Hello everyone, myself I am Uma and I have overall 8 plus years of IT experience as a data analyst and 4 years of experience as a corporate trainer. I am a Microsoft certified data analyst and a corporate trainer and currently working at Microsoft. Hello everyone, welcome to KSR Data Vision YouTube channel. In today's session, we will see the latest update of Power BI. So the Power BI latest update is as of February 2023. Let's see few of the updates, okay? So as part of uh, Feb 2023 update, they have come up with multiple updates with respect to reporting, with respect to analytics, modeling, some connectors also they have updated and in even in Power BI service, we can see some updates. Okay, so let's go and explore the ones which are helpful for our day-to-day uh, -day reporting. Okay, so coming to the reporting part, the first one is conditional formatting based on string fields. Okay, so the conditional formatting we had earlier as well, but not on the string fields. Now they have come up with the update that they, we can also make some conditional formatting based on the string fields. So this is your Microsoft official website, powerbi.microsoft.com. I will also share this link in the description box as well. You can go through it and um, read in detail. So I will show you this practical, this example, okay. How is this conditional formatting is enabled for string fields, okay. So based on the particular string, you can even change this color, conditional formatting. This is how you are able to see here, right. For this audio, they have changed the conditional. So let's implement this, okay. So here you are seeing one visual where I am showing all the, these are my categories furniture office supplies and technology if i drill down you can see that within this uh, categories the subcategory of products as well okay so if you see here office supplies the sales is less the bars which you are seeing here are sales right somewhere for this office supplies if you see the sales is less when compared to the uh, products of furniture and technology so now i want to highlight this office supplies in some different color not in terms of this green so this is the conditional formatting let's see how we can implement this so i'll go for this format your visual and i'll go for this columns so by default the color is this green color so i'll go for this condition so in this i'm selecting the rules and what field this should be based on so this should be based on what is the column here it is this category right so i'll select this category column and then here if you see here now you are seeing first to last count distinct count okay so all this uh, they have enabled now in the summarization so new also you are seeing first last as well so i will take that if this category is office supplies then highlight this in some other color okay so let me take some other color for this okay and i'll click on okay if you see only the office supplies related are changed the office supply subcategory of the products are changed here Okay, so this is about your conditional formatting. Now let's see the, what are the other features they have provided. So this we have implemented practically. This will helpful to you when you are doing the reporting based on uh, the st uh, string values. If you want to do the conditional formatting, you can apply in this way. Coming to the other updates, even the smart narrative visual, which is an uh, artificial intelligence related visual. This also they have updated. They have come up with some summary icon. Okay. And formatting the image. So in the visual, if you are having the images, so how to format this? This also they have come up with now height and width. So for each of these images, not only initially it was only one image height you were able to modify. Now they have given separately the height and width so that you can set up this proper height and width for this images. So this is also one of the interesting update. And you can also update your base themes. Example, 
here you have right under view you have multiple themes so this what our report is using that theme the accessible themes and multiple themes are there you can also browse for the some themes and you can uh, customize your current theme if you are using any outdated theme okay any theme which is already outdated you can change the themes if you are selecting the themes here accordingly the visuals will change right it will change accordingly and if you are using any outdated theme that also they have mentioned that it will give us a pop-up saying that our theme is out, up, outdated and we can out of date themes encourage to update the latest base theme and we can update the with using the latest changes we can hit apply when ready so these are some of the new features which they have enhanced and we can also will validate our theme current uh, custom theme whatever we have implemented that also we can validate in this update okay also for the text box visual indentation they have added some indentations right text box visual indent like uh, if i am adding some text box here this is my text box this is about the february month update okay so i can use this indentations so if i use this indentation i can set the text properly so these are some of the updates which they have given for the text box visual indentation as well and um, even the report themes also are now easily accessible so this also we have seen and now one more interesting very useful feature that is page navigator visual customize the visible pages for example here if you see i have multiple pages in this report right this is my first page here i have all the visuals and then i am having one state information page and only region sales and this is one more page okay this is one more page i will say just uh, rename this as a category now if i choose this if i choose this under buttons under buttons go to navigator and give this page navigator this is your page navigator okay so this is your page navigator now you have a flexibility to choose which pages to appear in this navigator and which pages should not appear okay so this flexibility also you have means whatever the pages you click on this you will be navigating to that particular page from here so in this also they have come up with some new options that is you expand this page and here you expand this show hidden pages show all by default show tooltip pages all if you turn on you will see all the pages one two three four four pages we have all four it is showing for example i do i don't want to show this page region sales only right only one visual is there i don't want to show this region sales page in this navigator then i can go select this one i can go to this pages and in this show i can hide this if i hide this see you are only seeing three pages now you are not able to see what if state information also if you want to hide you can hide this earlier we did not have this flexibility where you can show and hide whatever the pages you require so this is a very interesting update which they have released in this web 2023 okay so this is about your page navigator and uh, so in detail they have given how you can uh, toggle between the pages how you can show or hide any other pages so these are all the options they have provided here show hidden pages show tooltip pages show all by default this grid layout all these options you can uh, choose uh, accordingly in the style also you can uh, see whatever you want everything they have given in this uh, page navigator so this is about your page navigator and uh, even for sensitive labels now supported in pdf export from desktop so this is also one of the feature where they have implemented for pdf export from power bi desktop okay and coming to enhanced row level security editor okay this is again a very interesting feature that is 
under this modeling you can see this managed roles right row level security is a very important concept and in almost every project you will be implementing this row level security so let's see how they have changed it now go to this managed roles if you see this editor has been completely changed now as part of february 2023 update initially it was totally different and now the complete this editor they have changed now let's see how we can implement so in my table i have a region four regions so this is my region column here in this table so i will add this rows based on my region so how i can add i can click on this so i will choose is region role so i'll click on this symbol and then for this is region i can add so i have to select this table then i can add so based on which table you want to filter so my region is in this orders table so i'm selecting this i can go here and i can select this region so if the region is equal to south so for south i am uh, sorry it's east right so i will create here east region so i will save it okay i will create one more region that is south region so for this also i can add right i can select this table i can add one more that is region equal to south and i can click on save now you can see two roles i have created for east region the region is east and for south region the region is south okay based on this values you can see the specific region data only now they have also implemented this switch to dax editor okay you can also see the same filtered one in terms of dax expression so if you click on this you can see this is how the dax expression for south region also you can see the same thing okay so this part is done now i will close this now as of now you are seeing four regions right now i will go on view as since we have applied now the roles rls roles now i will click on south click on okay oh. only south region you are seeing right the complete data got filtered and you are able to see only south the complete report you will be able to see only the south region data if you can try to filter also you will not get all the four regions you are seeing only south here you can see now viewing as south region now go back to here and if you view as instead of south region if you select east region you can see only east region see here the, this chart has also filtered with east and here also you are seeing east region now viewing as east region so this is how they have changed this i will select none now so everything will come so this is how the managed rules they have changed the complete editor and it's now user friendly you can also see this filter option as well as you can also see this dax editor okay so this is how they have implemented this and we will also see some other updates this is the row level editor this will be very helpful for you and um, some analytics related quick create sdk and in modeling they have implemented some new dax functions statistical dax functions linest and linest x so this is it will perform some linear regression and uh, least square method so these are the functions which they have given you can go through these functions and also some connectors they have updated the connector updates so all these are connected updates and even in power bi service they have given some updates on how to get the data from uh, different sources right so in this also they have given some updates like you can also browse from your local you can get the files from one drive or sharepoint so now there are multiple options that you can select and you can also get from this data set so even for this compact view scorecards for the scorecards even this view also they have come up with some updates and also linked metrics 
follow metrics all these are uh, related to this scorecard and metrics so this also they have come up with some updates not only in this power bi desktop but also for the page dated reports they have come up with few updates like format table parameter pane page dated report from mid data mart so how to create all this they have given some updates so lot of updates the team has come up in the feb 2023 and also with respect to visualizations, third party visuals. When I say third party visuals, you will get all the visuals from this marketplace. So here you can see three dots. You can just click on this, get more visuals. So this is your marketplace where you can get n number of visuals. So organization visuals or app source visuals. So lot of visuals are there. So this also they are keep on updating as well as they are certifying few of the visuals that is what they have provided in the latest update so milestone trend analysis chart okay you can also search this chart from this app space okay so from this app space you can search for the specific new charts which they have come up and you can use the charts so what this chart does, they have given some detailed analysis, my milestone trend analysis, what it does. So the trends, everything they are showing and it also supports dark mode support, it seems. That is what they are representing and multi spark lines also they are supporting here. Okay. So what is spark lines? I have already created one more video. So I'll share that in the description box. You can go with that spark lines. So now this is a custom visual which they have released which is like multiple spark lines. You can also go through this. So these all are some of the custom visuals. Okay. Inflow driver charts. So this is also now Microsoft certified it seems. So if you see in the marketplace few of the visuals are certified. Few are not certified. You can uh, get it from here. Okay. The certified will have these symbols, you are seeing these tick symbols, right? These are Power BI certified, Microsoft certified and few of the visuals you are not seeing that tick, uh, this tick symbol here. It means these are not certified. So now they have come up, they are saying that Info Driver Charts is now certified. They have certified this visual. So what exactly this visual does, all these details they have given here, okay, new enhances. Also themes they have enhanced. So these all are some of the new features which they have implemented also drill down donut pro by zoom charts zoom charts also they provide some um, very good visuals in the marketplace so these also they have come up with some drill down donut pro in this also you have now it supports uh, multiple uh, types see here this is like a uh, pie donut gauge so multiple types it is supporting and you can also adjust this groupings so this is what drill down donut pro custom visual which you will get from the app source so these all are the some of the updates of your february 2023 updates so i'll uh, as i said i will be providing this in the description box this link please go through this and have a look on this okay so some of the interesting features i have explained here so you can go through this and you can implement this. This will be helpful in your day-to-day -day reporting. And uh, please always go through the latest updates because even in the interview, they will be asking you what are uh, some of the recent updates which you have come across. Have you implemented that in your project? Have you explored that while you are uh, creating the report? So this kind of questions you will get in interview as well. So thank you for watching this and for more informative videos, please do like, share and subscribe to our KSR Data Vision YouTube channel. Thank you.